Welcome in everybody to the Pittsburgh Steelers franchise rebuild, I guess, on um, Madden 23. Um, I know I'm a little bit late. We're already into week three of the NFL season in real life. As of today's actually Sunday. The day I'm recording this is Sunday of week three of the NFL season. But, you know, had some difficulties with Twitch, with my Commanders franchise. Thought, let's start a fresh one over here on YouTube. And that's where we are here today. Um, I didn't do anything in the preseason. I literally just went right to the regular season. I, I started the franchise um, to start in the regular season. So, you know, here we are now. Um, yeah, so today's episode, episode one, I'm just going to, we're going to go through everything here on the left side of the screen, you know, set season goal, the draft class, all this stuff, whatnot, set our focus, players figured that out. Um, but before we get into obviously going diving into week one, I do want to go over the roster, and before we go over the roster, let's start from the bare bones, bare minimum. Let's go over the what I have my settings at and whatnot for week one here. Jump into league settings real quick. Obviously, going to be playing on all men. Um, normally, I've been playing on competitive. I don't know. The last year or two, I played on competitive, but I think what I've been told, most, most people play on a simulation, so I don't know. I didn't never watch videos on like what sliders to play on and whatnot i kind of just adjusted as i went but i always had this on competitive but i'm gonna do this on simulation maybe maybe that'll make the gameplay better um all this is default everything here is default um pre pre-existing injury um i think i had it turned on so i'll have to check that when we go on the rosters i think tj watch should be hurt like he is in real life but we'll double check that um everything else is normal here I did. Here's the first thing I did that's completely different than normal. I'm keeping development trait regression on. I've always played with it on. I know a lot of people, now when I was looking for sliders and stuff, a lot of people were talking about like, oh, should I keep this on or off? People, a lot of people actually turn it off. I'm going to keep it on. I think it makes it even more challenging for me when people regress, even if they shouldn't, you know, just because it kind of adds to the storyline and the excitement of the series. Um, But here's the difference. Normally, this is set. I'm bumping desired the de, desired X Factor dead players up to 75 and desired superstar dead players up to 100. So I'm maxing these out. Maybe that'll help people not regress as much because there's going to be more people that keep because, you know, they try to, you know, they kind of cut off of those thresholds where once they get to around the 50 normally, because normally this is set at 50 default and they only want about 50 of them in the league. I'm bumping this up to 75. I'm keeping superstar dead players. Normally, this is at, I think this is at what? What's the middle here? This is at 70, maybe? I don't even remember. I'm bumping this all the way up to 100. This normally starts at 400. I'm bumping this up to 450. I'm going to play on 10-minute quarter length. I'm going to keep Excel clock on. Um, just keep this basic full control. I'll let them manage practice. There's obviously, pop-ups off, and then all this other stuff's basic. Progress players off, progress talent off, fill roster. I'm actually turning that off. I forgot to do that. That needs to be off as well. So that's just the basic league settings uh xp sliders all this is i obviously this is all default this is haven't touched any of this i'm not gonna have my team or other people's teams you know be better for no reason and then gameplay sliders now here's where it gets a little interesting um i watched a few youtube videos um trying basically just taking ideas off of a bunch of different people um, typically, so last year when I was playing Man Franchise, um, I got to a point where my player skill stuff was in the 20s and the CPU skill was bumped up 60s, 70s, depending on the stuff to make it really hard for me when my team became overly stacked. I'm going to start here with this. I'm trying to keep it as realistic as possible for the beginning. So this is what I'm going to start with. I have a couple things bumped for me, have a couple things, you know, I have interceptions lower, but everything's bumped up a little bit. Um, off the rips that way we're not just getting donkeyed immediately i mean we probably still will we'll see but cpu skill on but i took some stuff down um i don't need you know these mid-tier quarterbacks just picking me apart and going 25 for 27 it just doesn't happen in real life so hopefully i'd say that as i only bumped it down to 48 we're gonna keep it at 48 it's still gonna happen but i'm hoping that maybe that'll adjust it a little bit um, pass blocking 45 for them because they freaking, they, they literally, there's some, they sit back in the pocket sometimes for hours. I need some stuff to give at least, especially when I don't have these elite pass rushers eventually, obviously I teach a lot right now, but you know, over time 
over time, you know, we're, we'll adjust this over time. You know what I'm saying? This will get adjusted over time, obviously. And then special teams, keeping that normal. And then injuries. Here's the thing with, that's different than I normally done. I move minimum player threshold to 48, see if that affects it a little bit. Penalties, though. I took this off a couple people's videos saying this is the most realistic way to go about it. Not because how the penalties, it's not like realistic, like you're getting more penalties. It's it makes the CPU engine play differently when you have penalties higher. And I want to see if I can feel that effect. And if I need to, you know, adjust this as well, I will. Um, intentional grounding is off because, because well, two reasons. The main thing is for the CPU. If the CPU knows intentional grounding is off, it's like, I basically what I've learned is it plays different. They won't just... They won't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, well, it's a lot of ways to see how it goes. But intentional grounding for me, I know Madden's broken with intentional grounding. So, um, either way, um, turning little contact off as well, because CPU supposedly plays a little different, but we'll see. Yeah, those are the sliders. Uh, you can obviously pause and stuff if you want to go back and see those. Um, that is all, we haven't played a game yet. I don't know how any of this is going to feel. So these are all adjustable, and if I make any adjustments throughout the year or in the off seasons, I will obviously let you know. And all right, before we do, we get into week one and start jumping into everything. We are going. Let's take a look at the roster. This is this should be entertaining. I can give you a run on what I think of everything. Obviously, T.J. Watt, dog. We'll get to him. Quarterback. This is interesting. This is part of the reason why I wanted to be the Steelers. Mitchell Trubisky is obviously a bridge quarterback for them at this point. They drafted Kenny Pick in the first round. Even if Mitchell Trubisky goes off, it's hard to see him sticking around here in Pittsburgh because they definitely want Kenny Pickett to be that guy. And Kenny Pickett, with normal development, though, as a first-round pick, seems kind of harsh, especially at 24 years old, 67 overall. Um, I'm going to do everything in my power to make him end up being the guy to take over, and we're going to give him a chance for sure. But... It's Madden, you know, I'm, I'm keep it. I try to play realistic in the way of if someone is struggling, even though they should be the guy, I won't hesitate to get rid of them because it's the real, it's the realistic factor. You're not, you don't just give people incredibly unlimited amount of chances in real life, typically. And that's my game plan when it comes to quarterback. Trubisky's the bridge guy. Kenny Pickett's going to get his opportunity. But if Kenny Pickett isn't doesn't become that guy, then maybe we'll have to look elsewhere. And I'm willing to do that. I have no problem with that. Um, but here now we can jump over to halfback. Obviously, we have a young superstar in Najee Harris. He's gonna be very fun to use. I got a skill point, I'll jump into that later. But Najee's gonna be awesome. Um, obviously gonna play out the rest of his rookie contract here, and then we'll probably more than likely look to extend him. I'm not going to say guaranteed, but I would say about 90% chance we extend him. <laughs> 99 but uh yep benny snell young running back out of kentucky and we got a couple other guys down here jalen warren rookie of oki state and then uh mcnichols who i feel like he's been yeah he's bounced around i think he was on the titans right jeremy mcnichols i think so but nothing really to there's Derek watt of course you gotta have the one of the one of the two watt brothers on the squad and then receiver this is very exciting this receiving core is really cool I really love Deontay Johnson in real life. I think he's an underrated receiver almost, even though he has superstar development here. I think Deontay Johnson doesn't get as much love as he should. Claypool, um, I don't know. I feel like, what is it? This is his going to be his third year in the league, so he'll be coming up for an extension here soon. We'll see what we want to do with Claypool. George Pickens, obviously extremely excited about George Pickens. Um, I was definitely one of the, I was definitely in the camp of man. If George Pickens never has injured the injury bug in college and gets hurt. Why not? He might have been the person receiver taken off the board in the draft. His talent's insane. He just made that catch on third, that one-handed catch on Thursday night because this is being recorded on that Sunday, like I mentioned, Sunday after. So that's entertaining. Anthony Miller, Bears receiver, for a while I think I want to say he was probably the Bears the whole time. This is probably his first year on the Steelers. Don't call me on this. I'm no football genius when it comes to roster movements. Miles Boykin, I want to say Ravens, maybe? I don't know. See, I, that's what I think. I have no idea. He might have been Steelers a long time. Calvin Austin, I do know rookie out of Memphis. Steven Sims is here, and then Gunnar Olszewski. Olszewski? Is that the that was the long time? Was that the guy who was the punt returner for the Patriots, maybe? Okay. I'm just embarrassing myself here on YouTube. It's okay, though. <laughs> Friar Muth. 
I like Fire Move. I don't know how well he's going to be a man. I don't know what his 80 speed. He's slower. He should be solid, though. He's a big body tight end. Hopefully, Fire Move will be good for us for a while. Zach Gentry from Michigan. and Connor. I remember Connor Hare from Michigan State, the rookie. I remember him last year. Offensive line. Before we jump into it, I'm looking at the left tackle. I already know this offensive line is bad. I know it for a fact. I've known this. I knew this going into it. It was going to be a rebuild. Kevin Dotson, Young. Kendrick Green, though, they did take. Was Kendrick Green last year? I don't know. Yeah, he was last year pick. Maybe we'll see if Kendrick Green can become some, become some Mason Cole. They signed. I do know that. Um, James Daniels is here. Was he? He was the Bears. Yep. From the Bears. He was out of Iowa. I remember him. And Chikum Wuma Oka Rafor. <laughs> Stop it. Stop embarrassing me. Comedy. Oh my goodness. All right. Larry Ogunjo. So, yeah, offensive line needs work. It's going to be tough. We'll see. Ogunjobi. And then Connor Cameron. We were on 3 4, though. So, Cam Hayward. We got Ogunjobi. Cam Hayward. Obviously, probably in the back end, obviously on the back end of his career, he's 11 years into the league. Does he super strike factor? He is 33 years old. Definitely probably going to play out as much as I can with him. I'm excited about Cam Hayward. He's he's a great player. We'll see what he can do for Tyson. Alulu, Alu, Alu, Alu. <laughs> I, need to, I need to stop, guys. This is not good. Okay, moving on. TJ Watt, um, obviously the best player on our team, um, but he is hurt. In real life and i have a pre-existing injury on and i did that on purpose to keep it as realistic as possible since we are you know into the season and whatnot all right tj watt sorry about that all right miles jack signed uh, did he get traded or did he sign? They cut the Jaguars cut him. He signed with the Steelers. Awesome. Devin Bush is awesome, man, because he's fast, 90 speed. Um, Alex Highsmith, exciting. We got a really good linebacking core. Corners. This is another new I thing I knew that was gonna be a struggle. We do not have any real true CB1 corners, which is fine, but that's something that's gonna be exciting to um figure out what we do there, whether it's off season or if we do stuff in the draft. Minka Fitzpatrick, awesome, best, one of the best safeties in the league. If not, I mean, I wouldn't say he's the best, but he's definitely in the top five category, roughly. I'd say in Israel Edmonds, also young guy. We'll see. He's twenty five. He's gonna he's gonna be up for contract extension. We'll see what we want to do with him. Chris Boswell, kicker, and then we got the the goat, Presley Harvin, Harvin the third, uh, Georgia Tech at punter. Draft picks. We have all of our picks, which is always good. That's a little bit of the roster breakdown, what I know of it. Obviously, we'll see throughout the season whether or not people stay. Whether who gets extended. Who might even get traded. Um, but yeah, we will see how that goes. All right, but yeah, we can jump right into the season. I mean, here's something I didn't mention earlier. We are going to be force simming the first few weeks. Um... We are going to be force simming the first three weeks so we can get our actual record. I'm going to the first game that's going to be played in this franchise is going to be week four against the Jets. I am going to force lose week wait, force win week one, force lose week two, and force lose week three. They beat the Bengals in real life. They lost to the Pats and the Browns. So we will be doing that. But set season goal. We'll start here. Um if we're the I mean, here's the thing. We're Mike Tom. I mean, we're not Mike Tomlin. Rest, rest not we're not Mike Tomlin. We are a new coach myself, but um, we are a new coach myself, but you know, we're the Steelers. I think in our division, we got to hopefully get to make playoffs is tough. I'm going to say seven wins, even though it doesn't really matter, but I am just going to say seven wins for now. Hopefully we can make the playoffs. That's obviously the goal is making the playoffs, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, um, now we get into the exciting thing. The draft class. And who will we see here? I'm excited to see. We'll deep dive, I think, um, next at one of these next episodes.
All right. Yeah. One of these next episodes, we will um deep dive into everything, but prospects before we uh, like sign our scouts let's take a look at what we're looking at so top five guys we got a quarterback jerry hamilton i'm already intrigued guys i'm already intrigued i love it i love it obviously we don't know anything about him yet but i love it but it's okay uh, even if i i don't want a quarterback kenny pickett's the guy i'm just i like seeing oh, jesus is it all offensive lineman d lineman holy cow look at all these offensive linemen and d lineman now we got a couple tight ends Top wide receivers, Kenny Barkley. As the moment, we don't know. Mike Dell out of tech. It's cool. A couple of first round potential halfbacks. Always exciting to see some wide receivers. But yeah, um, we'll start here. Prospect, not prospects, scouts. We need to assign our scouts. Um, I don't know. Let's. L I think right now, looking at our team, there's two massive needs, and it's corner and offensive line. And it's funny that this is what it's already set. I'm literally going to leave it how it is. I'm going to make corner our tier one and offensive line our tier um, two scout. I'm, I'll leave it on offensive tackle. I think we really need a left tackle. I think that is a huge need for us. But corner, I like to know a lot about the corners and the safeties. So I'm going to leave that as tier three. Tier two will be offensive tackle, D tackle. Um, other things. Um, I like to know. Th I like to. I like to know things about wide receivers, even though we might not need one. Safety might be a need with um, Terrell Edmonds hitting for agency. I think interior offensive line might be a need as well. Maybe not though. We don't need halfback. Um, I'm going to do. Actually, we're going to do defensive end because we know Cam Hayward's on the back end of his career. Um, we will do safety. Because I like scouting safeties. I like versatile players. And just because I like to know some stuff about receivers, whether we take one or not late, I like to know stuff about wide receivers. So our national scout is obviously tier three. Make sure everyone, I know it's said in every franchise video, but now nah, actually make sure you remember to make your tier three your national scout. Like, don't be dumb. Okay. The West, uh, we will make it defense. Ooh. Hmm. Is there a left tackle strength anywhere? Right tackle is the strength of the class. Okay, so I need to take off offensive tackle. So, yep, our our tier two scout needs to be in the West. So I will do that real quick. You need to be in the West. There we go. Central, tight end, free safety, right end, center, left end, right guard. Um, We can do this. So I'll put the safety one here. Safety can go. That was the north. That was the central. Northeast will be the receiver. And then that leaves the southeast at defensive end, which is fine. There might not be anybody there, but I don't really. It doesn't really bother me. So southeast goes there. All right. So scouting's already done. All right, so that's good there. We got the upgrade available. I see on the stat points. We won't worry about the opening day keys. We are going to win week one, so we can be greedy right now. This is a guaranteed dub. We need, we're taking on Burrow. We need to see good defense. And we need to uh, disrupt Joe Burrow's pass. I don't know. Who knows that's going to happen. That's probably not going to happen. But guess what? We're, I already know we're going to win, so I ain't worrying about it. We can be as greedy as we want. Game plan, elite QB. We want sacks, even though TJ Watts hurt, but we want sacks. That would be cool. All right, weekly strategy. This should be exciting. I got to figure out who I want to make my focus players, and um, that's these two are good. Do I want to do DeMarvin Leal? I think I probably do. That probably makes the most sense. I don't know. Maybe not, though. I know he's a second round. He was a second round pick, I do believe. But hmm. in a weird way, I'm thinking Friar move just because I know he's going to play for us. I could do James Daniels. He's got extended 24 years old. Let's do James Daniels. Let's get a let's get a solid. Let's build up our right guard as much as we possibly can because we're going to need it. 
and that's good cool 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 all right to upgrade our guys Jameer Jones always like to see so we got outside linebacker is he more of an off ball no he's probably a speed rusher okay that's the one thing that's different about 3-4 compared to me. I typically run 4-3, but it's going to come down to um, what our personnel ends up being. You know what I mean? I'm not going to draft strictly for 3-4. If it ends up working out where we can get a sick, like, cover, like a off-ball linebacker or whatnot, you know, we will um, we'll adjust to that. Because TJ Watt can always go down and play D end. We don't have to run 3-4 or Cam Akers on the back of his career. Cam Akers can always move inside and whatnot. So, we'll figure it out. I'm not locked in stone with anything. I'm just trying to make it as reasonable for us as possible. Ooh, let's do vertical threat. I want Fireman to become as, as athletic as possible. He needs to, he might like, he just needs to almost, he might just have to become like a safety net security blanket for Trubisky and hopefully, um, can you pick it? Ooh, he just got plus five tackle. Dang, that's crazy. And you guys have also probably seen this in a lot of um, other content creators' um, videos. How OP playmaker is for wide receivers. You just get so much route running and whatnot. It's like it's a no-brainer on receivers to upgrade playmaker. So that's what I'll keep doing on the receivers. Steven Sims and Connor, they're both getting playmaker. It just is what it is. Get that route running up, baby. It's Sunday, boys. I'm recording during football season, so sorry if you hear me like go mute here for a second every once in a while. I uh, I got red zone on, so. Damn it, I'm facing T. Higgins. <laughs> Please not be a touchdown. It's okay. You will also probably hear a lot of that. So, all right. So, we're already ready to go for week one, but like I said, we will be force giving us the dub here. We are on the road, so force away win. Cool. All right, forcing the away win for us real quick, and let's advance the week. So we'll be one and zero, and then we'll lose the next two weeks. We will be one and three, and we're just this is on this first episode. We are just going to be going through see week one through week three. Episode two will be the first gameplay we see. So obviously, stay tuned for that. That's going to be good. Who who got ripped off our squad? Deontay Brown. Okay, whatever. All right, nice job, boys. We're 1-0. Love it. Things you love to see. <laughs> All right. Key to victory. Did we, did, did, we, did we do the job? Did we do the deed? Oh, yeah. Nice job, Cam Hayward. What the hell are those jerseys? <laughs> no comment. All right. And we'll also, we will also look at the franchise um, upgrades and whatnot. Once we get to that week four or the end of week three, we will take a look at everything. Cool. We're doing it. Look at Cam Award. Super Stack started the whole next game, but too bad it doesn't matter because we're going to lose. All right. And when this episode, at the end of this episode, so now that we're already getting, like, we already finished the intro and everything, now we're just going to be ripping through these next uh, couple weeks. I will, um, we'll do a little bit of a dive into some of the prospects and whatnot just because it's like I want this video to be a little bit longer than it might end up being due to the fact it's just the intro. But doesn't matter i don't even need to be look i don't know why i'm even looking at the injuries because it doesn't matter all right upgrade players keep it rolling here open joby baby anyone else that really matters Ooh, tj why i got an upgrade i see i see you kenny i see kenny kenny's good at everything isn't he What's it? I feel like his arm strength's probably what's killing. Yeah, throw power eighty six. Uh, strong arm. Holy, hit. that's bad. That is bad. And here's the thing. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we end up seeing Kenny Pickett this year. You know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna auto upgrade. That's seventeen people. I don't got time for that right now. Okay, practice available. Man, staff all good. I'm gonna do the upgrade at the week three so once we uh, get to week three i gotta force lose that would have been bad i would have been very upset if i would have forgot that so now we need to we are at home so we need to force that away win and boom we can hit on head on to week three 
Hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as I am, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I love building teams. I love the stories behind it. Whether the gameplay is good or not, that's always hit or miss, but you never know, right? Ooh, did we? That was horrible. Sorry, watching Red Zone. I'm a Viking fan. I just watched uh, Greg Joseph shank a 56 yarder. It was bad. Mock draft one, though. That's cool. All right. Um, yep, we're one and one. We're about to be one and two. Let me, you know what? Let's, before I got my head thinking about it, let's just go in and make sure I force us to lose. So we need to force a home win since we are on the road. Yes. Cool. All right. Last week before um, we end this episode here, just a quick little introduction episode. Happy to do it, though. Um, short week. And then we'll hit regional focus and then we'll look at this uh, mock draft. Obviously, we have a short week. All right. Cool. 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 Let's just get let's just get through this. I'll I'll do more in depth stuff once we actually are playing. I'm just trying to get caught up to where we're going to start, you know, before we do all this, which is good. Ooh, players ready to negotiate. We will check that out though. We will do that. Choose regional scouting focus. Obviously, we'll make sure we get this right. Uh, why the heck would we be doing QB there? Set focus on safety. Nope, not corner. Safety, boom. Why do they really want us to look at quarterback? We got Kenny Pickett. They they really just trying to be doing it to us, aren't they? And then this will be. Yeah, I did. I guess I didn't even see the weakness was end, but we'll do outside linebacker. That's fine because it's still rush end, so more than likely. So we're good. Cool. Alrighty. Players ready to negotiate. We'll check this out. Who needs a big contract extension? Tyson Alu Alu? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Terrell Edmonds, um, I'll consider. Um, I'm not going to do it yet. We don't really have the cap room to be throwing out money like that right now, I don't think. So we'll figure it out. But we will look at everybody as the time comes up. I'm just not trying to go overly in-depth here since the intro took a little bit while. Um, but like I said, we will be every, so here's the thing. Every episode, we're going to have the game plus me breaking stuff down. So they're going to be long episodes and that's what we want. I just don't want this one to be overly long because I know people are here for gameplay and you're not getting any gameplay in this video. So I'm just trying to rip through this as fast as possible. And I apologize for this that I, you know. I'm a little behind. Ooh, never mind. I was gonna auto upgrade, but we need to get freaking Pickens on that rocking that playmaker. He's gonna be so. I'm excited. I'm so excited. He's George Pickens. He's gonna be awesome. And that's all good right there. All righty. Okay, we'll hop into mock draft one. I already did the force loss for us. Is that a Monra? Let's go. Okay, I'm a Viking fan, but like. I have a Monroe St. Brown. Oh, that wasn't a touchdown? Okay, it doesn't matter. Yo. That guy looks good. All right, I'm excited. I'm already seeing. There's already looking like there's some decent guys based off the limited stuff we know. There's so many good offensive linemen, which is beautiful. I do like that. What do we know about Jerry? Just because it's a quarterback. It's the top quarterback in the draft. It's exciting. He's a dog. Oh, no. He's so good. He's so good. Look at his physicals. He's a great athlete. It's going to great to elite throw power, guys. Guys. Okay, no. It's Kenny Pickett season. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it unless we have to do it. I ain't doing it unless we have to do it. There's no good corners. That's all. There's no elite corner, I guess. I was hoping that we'd get like some stud corner. Kenny Kitchen has a man. I mean, it's probably going to be like 80, but like, I'm. you got me hooked. B play rec. I'm already hooked. Yeah. Like I said, we will do a deep dive on all these prospects and everything. We'll have like an episode like Aylor A man. Jesus. Guys, I'm already like C zone. Are you a corner? Nah, probably not. He's got decent sauce. Speed. He ain't no corner. Um, but yeah, we'll deep dive into all the prospects and everything. And it'll, that'll be fun. 
All right. So before we advance, let's let's hit this. Yeah, let's um. Let's actually do these upgrades. Normally, what I do, I just go left to right. I don't jump the gun. So I start. I start here on player growth, and then I'll go to and then I will go to staff modifications, and then we'll go to OC, DC, player personnel. You get the, you know it. But here's the key. The thing is, is you only get to pick one of these ways to go down. So I like to typically do the ones that are harder to upgrade. It sucks because offensive line is the hardest to upgrade, but it's also matched with all the stuff that's easy to upgrade. Halfback, wide receivers, quarterbacks. And that's unfortunate. So I'm just going to go strictly toward the defense, and that's what it is going to be for now. I can only do two anyway, so, but that's cool. That's cool with me. I wish if all I was on the other side, man, it'd be such a walk in the park. Easy to do. But I already forced us to lose. But guess what I'm going to do? I am going to double check it because you never know with me. I'm kind of dumb sometimes. League schedule. Browns are at home. Force win home. We're at the Browns. Perfect. We are good to go. All right. We'll advance to next week. We're going to be one and two. We'll be hosting the Jets. Um, the last thing I am going to do before we end this episode, I'm not going to do anything here on the left side of the screen. That'll be safe for next episode. Jets are 3-0 in the sim. Sheesh. Um, I just want to take a look at the stats because we're, we're doing simulation, so I have no idea. Trubisky's not looking good. Kenny. Kenny, are you ready to go? Kenny might be coming out soon. Depends how I play. Trubisky's starting to get this week, this upcoming week, but... Najee, 92. Game, he's been solid. I mean, he's been really good. Six yards of carry. We just got to give him the ball more, and I will be feeding him. So, Deontay's a dog. He's definitely playing in the slot, which is good, because I mean, these are our outside receivers. Don't worry about that right now. How are we doing sack-wise? Oh, bad. We're three games in, and we have three sacks. Horrible. Horrible. No picks. Wait, no. Okay, two picks. Akello Witherspoon and Alex Highsmith. Boswell, why are you missing free throw? I'm free throws, Jesus Christ! I've been playing way too much 2K. 2K dropped like, um, what a week, two weeks ago. I've been playing so much wreck with the boys. Um, check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash on display. I'll be I'm live playing wreck on there. I'm live playing um MOB the show on there. Um, those games I actually play online. Madden I don't play online. I play 2K online. I play MLB the show online. Check me out on Twitch, of course. If you want to watch me play live and I have my face cam on Twitch, so you can see what I look like. So you're not just, you know, you're not just hearing me. You get to see me. You get to see my handsome self in action. Freak out on camera, basically, is what you're going to get on there over there. But yeah, quick plug for the Twitch. We have fun over there. It's a good time. Um, but yes, uh, everyone, I appreciate everyone that tuned in briefly. Like I said, this is just episode one. We will be jumping in to um the game next week against the jets um that episode should be coming out then and the next day my plan i'm not even gonna say my upload schedule plan you know because i don't want to get clowned if it doesn't work out so look on keep out on a look jesus i can't speak i've been talking for 33 minutes straight this is not good keep a keep an eye out keep an eye out for it holy hell clown me please make fun of me in the comments um keep an eye out for it should be out soon Appreciate everyone tuning in. I hope you guys understand, you know, why I decided to send those weeks, where we're at, what we're going to do. Um, but, yeah, week three, horrible. <laughs> we got blasted by the Browns, 45-22 in this. Okay, week four coming up next. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, peace out.